and although you might well do a lot of volunteering at the beginning of the career and that's, that would be good for you to build up experience and to get your name out there, at some point you have to value what you do and the way people value your work is by paying you, that's, that's how they show that it's good and it's also the way that you eat and pay rent and all of those sorts of things. I'm finding it really, really hard to even get anyone who would consider, and I can see why, who would consider taking me on as even a volunteer. I just don't know how to sort of get into it. The first thing I'll say is being annoying is really key, I find. <laughs> um, so many people are looking for work experience that you just get flooded. I get flooded with requests and I don't always respond to them. Not because I don't need volunteers, and not because I don't want to give people that experience, just because there are so, there's so much coming through, yeah. and that's a tiny portion of my work. And you know, obviously, I've got teachers and young people constantly um, getting in touch about other things too, that it just slips through the net. Yeah. I forget about it. Um, the people that do, that volunteer with us, the people that have got work experience with me, have emailed me so many times that I start to feel embarrassed that I haven't responded. I start to feel like it's my fault. Um, they, and then they'll email a couple of times and then they'll ring and say, hi, my name's blah, blah, blah. And I'll go, I know that name. Why do I know that name? You know, I've emailed you. And, and, and they just, it's okay. persistence. Without, obviously, without stalking people. It really, it really is about a lot of persistence. It's really just worth looking on the internet and doing big searches. But also there are, I mean, Arts Plan or Arts Work is, is a good company that does quite a lot of um, work with, like they do a one day workshop on working with young refugees and asylum seekers. I did just send out a million CVs and a million email requests and phone calls and all the rest of it and I got some volunteer work with some of those companies and all of the ones that volunteer, I volunteered for then at some later stage gave me paid work. You will need a CRB, a uh, Home Records Bureau of Disclosure. Um, if you're volunteering, if, you're, if the work that you're doing is for free, you can get those for free. If, you, if you're working with a company, right, so I've had CRBs before, but the company has done them, so I thought, if I'm working with that company, that means that CRB is for that company only, working with that. Or, is if I've got a CRB, that's for everyone. The thing with CRBs is that the second they're issued, they're expired. Yeah. If you can go out that, the next day and yeah. do whatever you like, and it won't, it won't show up on your disclosure. Yeah. So it depends on the policy of the company you're working for. Don't get a standard. Standard is cheaper, but enhanced, will um, it covers more platforms. And it, it'll allow you to work with, because CRBs aren't just for young people, they're for vulnerable adults as well. So an enhanced CRB disclosure will cover you for anything 